and good day everyone. Welcome to the tutorial session for how to apply for Health Metrics HRDF training programs. Join this tutorial session and I will show you the step by step to apply for the training programs. All right, before we start with registration of the training program on HRDF platform, eTrees, first and foremost, you need to follow these simple pre registration steps. For the first pre-registration steps, reach us out at lisa at healthmetrics.co for a quotation and confirm your schedule from our team. The second pre-steps, to make sure that all your documentation are ready for submissions. So the first documentation will be the quotation from Healthmetrics, the trainer's profile, and also the course content, which all of this can be gotten from our team. The third pre-steps, once you have confirmed, you can apply for the training program of your choice where you can actually view it here at this link. Lastly, but the most important one is actually to apply at least one month before the training date to ensure that HRDF will have ample time to approve your application. So let's start with the registration on eTrees. So the very first step is to log in into your company's eTrees account. Once you are there, click the icon application. Step 3, you can click Grant on the left side under the work list. Step 4, click Apply Grant on the left side under the work list. Step 5, click Apply on the left side. Next, for step 6, click the Scheme code and select SBL Has Scheme Bantuan Latihan Has and click Apply. Next, for Employer's Profile, this is step 7, to select your immediate officer and click Next. Alright, so under the next step, the Training Providers Profile tab, select the registered training provider and fill in health metrics information here. You can get all this information from our team and feel free to inquire with them if you need more details. For step 9, please select the training program and key in all the needed information where appropriate and click next. So here's are some notes for you to take note in terms of this uh, training program. The select the training program, you can always refer to our team to know the exact title of the training program. For the explain the background and objective of this training, you can always refer back to our course content as it includes all this information there. And the next part, the relevancy of training. Explain why participants should attend the training related to their task or career development. For step 9.1, please select the trainer from the training provider list. Click Add and click Next. You should be able to get this information based on the trainer's profile that was sent to you by the Health Metrics team. Alright, so we're done with the training provider's details. Now, we're going for the details of the training itself. So for details of training, this is the step 10. Please key in the training location where appropriate and click next. So this really depends on where your training location is at the moment. So you can actually just choose from the drop down and then click next. All right, so now we're moving on to the next step that is the level of certification. All right, for step 11, Please select the level of certification where appropriate and click next. Alright, so now we have come to the summary of trainees. So this is step 12. Please follow the note and just key in the trainees details. So you can put all the information here and add batch. Alright, so for step 12.1, you can click the add batch button and then proceed to click save. Alright. Next, we're going to step 12.2, that is to click Add Trainee Details. Here, you can put in all the information of your trainee that is going to join the training program. Step 12.3, please key in all required details and just click Add. For step 12.4, simply click Add if you want to add more participants and then just click Save. For step 12.5, click Next to move on. 
Now let's go to estimate cost for training scheme tab. Alright, for step 13, please key in all the course fees and allowance details where appropriate and click next. For reference for all the course fees, you can always refer back to the quotation that was given to you by the health metrics teams for further details. Alright, so we have come almost near to the end of the application process. Now we're at the acknowledgement and declaration of employer. Step 14, please tick the declaration and select grant officer. For step 14.1, please add attachment. So the attachment here consists of quotation, trainer's profile and course content. Proceed to click save and click submit application. So now you are done with the application on ETRIS. So what you do now is wait for the approval email from HRDF. So once you have the approval email from HRDF, you can inform the health metrics team that your application has been approved and just wait for the date of your training program to commence. That's all from me and enjoy your training program later. Have a good day everyone.